Hi, welcome to this video in, we will, in which we will have a look at the troubleshooting wizard of ACI when you have activated service in session. As you can see here in the um, ACI GUI, we have an application made out of two tiers. And in the first tier, we have a contract where, where we have inserted a front-end firewall. This is what FE stands for. And between web and database, we have a back-end firewall. If you have watched the previous video in this series, uh, we inserted the firewalls through this uh, control web page. Now, let's have a look at the uh, troubleshooting wizard. So you have to specify a source and destination and IP addresses, and we already ha have a recorded session on that one. So let's just refresh the data between our web server and database server. As you can see, ACI shows us the topology between a source and destination, and it, it includes the firewall, which is connected to a third heave there. So ACI is aware about both source, destination, and the firewall in between, in this case, between front end, sorry, between web server and database server. You can double click on any port in order to see its statistics. In this case, um, egress and ingress bytes and bytes per second are shown, but you can uh, certainly change these uh, either selecting uh, which variables you want to be shown on the graph or selecting the refresh rate down to a minimum of 10 seconds for troubleshooting purposes. You can as well change whether you want to select the, uh, the values, the actual values, minimum, maximum, average, whatever. So it's pretty flexible graphs here. Now let's have a look at the contracts, that is ACI capabilities to filter traffic. And as you can see, here again, ACI is aware of the foul in between. So it um, showed the um, access control discounters between source and firewall and firewall and destination and the way back. Now we are having a look at the trace route where ACI is showing us that the database port, the MySQL port, is open all the way from source to destination, including the destination server. We can as well check the reverse path um, that is not going to work because ACI blocks uh, access from database to web. So web can access database, database cannot access web. Now Atomic Counters is a great ACI feature. It shows real-time traffic counters between source and destination, including the file in between. Great feature again because ACI is aware of the firewall there. Now let's have a look at uh, mirroring traffic, which normally requires you to be on site to do traffic analysis. In this case, you can capture traffic and send it to the ACI controller called ABIC. We will generate an application trans transaction here. This application, if you saw part one, just as, uh, gives, up, gives out a number for, for specific names. Uh, we just did that. We stopped the traffic capture. We saved the capture file. We load it on our local laptop at home again. You don't need to be there. and. Um, Voila, you can start looking at the traffic you're interested in. So for example, uh, we can have a look at the HTTP um, uh, traffic, which actually was, was captured as well, even if we were looking at traffic between HTTP, sorry, at, at the connection between HTTP and, and database. And we can have a look at the MySQL traffic that the web server generated. And as you can see here, we can see both the SQL select query that uh, the HTTP server sent to the database and a SQL answer that the database gave back. So we have seen how the troubleshooting wizard shows us topology, counters, even in real time and specific for the service we are looking at and how traffic capturing is extremely easy with ACI. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.